Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve 20 editing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the new feature inside of DaVinci Resolve 20, and that is the smart switch feature. Now, this is a feature I've been wanting for such a long time inside of DaVinci Resolve. Um, in previous versions, you did have your multicam switch, but you would have to go in there and tediously go through and change angles and maybe speed up your timeline just so it scrubs through a little bit quicker and you can quickly make changes. That will take a lot of time and effort, but now it is pretty much automated inside DaVinci Resolve. And as long as you have the studio version, because it is an AI feature, so if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click that notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So let's open up DaVinci Resolve 20 and let's get started. I have just imported some simple clips inside of DaVinci Resolve. This is from a previous project that I worked on, which you can check up over here. Here's my main angle. So this is my wide, this is my my angle um, and then this is Adrian's angle so now obviously we have to sync this up before we can do anything so let's just select all of these clips right click create new multicam clip using selected clips um, I'm just gonna leave this as is just to make it easier you know you can I've done tutorials on this before which you can also check out here for this video it's mainly focusing on the auto switch so we'll just hit create and now it's analyzing it syncing it up and you know creating a multicam from it so this is the multicam angle here so I'm just going to click and drag this into my timeline for multicam over here so I'm going to have this starting on multicam angle three this is the sound source you know from our microphones that we're wearing so I'm just going to start it on that okay, yeah so to use the smart switch feature in DaVinci Resolve 20, really all you need to do is on your multicam clip, you just right click and multicam smart switch. Now you've got a few different features. Um, I've been playing with this a little bit earlier, but um, so this is the AI multicam smart switch window. So you've got angle switching, wide angle setup and smart switch setup. So angle switching just allows us to change how the angle gets switched up so minimum edit duration this just allows you to before especially if people are talking over each other um, before it actually uh, switches angle you have at least two seconds or three seconds before it changes the angle so it's not these jump cuts all over the place and then edit change delay is when someone's talking and it's about to go to the other angle there's a bit of a delay so it's not like a hard cut or if you want to go for the hard cut feature you definitely can you've also got your wide angle setup so this is for the wide angle and I believe the wide angle was angle one. Um, now, wide angle frequency. So this is how many times it will use the wide angle shot. Normally it will just switch between the two, but that can be a bit boring. So um, you can tell it to have a wide angle frequency of low, medium and high. So if you want to have a lot of wide angles, you can go high. If you don't want too many and you just want to focus on each person's camera angle, um, you can just do low. And then smart switch setup. This is the smart switch detection that you're setting up. So quality faster or better. Now you've got video only and video and audio. By default, it doesn't let me change it. So it's stuck on video and audio. So there's a couple of different ways you can do this. So if you want it to be quick, I find that using audio only for fast analysis is the best way to go, which I'll just analyze quickly just so you can see. So as you can see, it is super fast. It's like an hour long, hour and 10 video, and it's going to analyze this all within basically one minute, which is super fast. Cool. So now it's just changed the angles just using audio only. So let's just check this out. It did, all right, but it's a Okay, see, here's where it's missed out. It's just looking at me. So, um, yeah, it does, it does an okay job at times, but I do find that it kind of falls apart. Uh, let's just undo that. So now I'm just going to find a small section just because this does take a really long time to do when you do a deep 
analysis using smart switch. So let me just quickly find a little chunk. Okay, so I found a small chunk that we could use for this example. So let me just bring that towards the beginning. It's about two and a half minutes long and we're kind of overlapping a little bit. Waiting for it. And then message just like um, ABC, like a sort of first time. So that was like 2017. Yeah, 2017, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna see how well this handles. So let's just right click and let's go over to Multicam Smart Switch again. Um, I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit, just so there's a little bit more cuts involved. Uh, uh, we'll keep a medium. <laughs> and then, yeah, so I'm just gonna go faster. This way is going to be analyzing Adrian, myself, and it's going to be looking at our mouths and the audio, and it will basically make the decision when to cut for us. So that's actually really cool. So let's just analyze. Now this part might take a little while to do. Oh, it's not too bad. It's about 24 frames per second. Uh, earlier when I was playing around with it, it was capping at around 12 frames per second. It can take a while depending how long the clip is. That's why I shortened it to a small section just for the sake of this tutorial. When you're doing your long form stuff, it could take, let's say an hour, hour or two hours to fully analyze everything for you. Of course, this is where you can go and grab yourself a coffee um, and just sit back and let it do its thing. Okay, so it's done analyzing it. I just wanna see how well this has, you know, interacted with the footage. So um, let's just have a quick look. Oh uh, yeah. Let me just quickly fix up the audio. Again, it's doing that thing. It's an easy fix to do if you find yourself in that situation. All you need to do is just click Alt on your keyboard, click and drag over the audio. As you can see, it's not selecting the video up here as well. So I'm gonna right click and I'm just gonna change multicam angle to three and that will just make everything angle three just for the audio. I have no memory of like actually <laughs> meeting you. So like yeah, you know, well, that was there. there, yeah. It was a good one. Oh, no, it was good. <laughs> yes, damn far on. Oh yeah, yeah. But she met. It's good. <laughs> yeah, and it's then yeah, and then, and then I brought you in to do, uh, to help shoot Tiger Cop. Yeah. I don't know, five. Yeah, okay. okay. That actually did a really good job. It cut over to Adrian when he started talking cut to a wide just to help break up, you know, a, going to be a long clip of him just talking. As you can see, doing it that way, yes, it takes longer, but it's done a much better job than just using the audio to make the cuts for you. It's looking at the video and the audio, and it's just making choices for you of when to cut. Now, it's not going to get it right. You can go in there and adjust it if you want to as well. So that's pretty much it for this video. That's pretty much, the whole tutorial then obviously you do your edits the way you want tweak it fix it all of that sort of stuff but i just want to show you how awesome this feature is and how excited i am for this feature i've been waiting so long for something like this i don't have to look into getting third-party software or going to another program to just do that for me or some sort of podcast video cast editing program it's all done inside of davinci resolve 20 and um, yeah, so if you guys are excited, let me know in the comments what feature you're excited about inside of DaVinci Resolve 20. I wanna know. But um, yeah, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay up to date on my future videos. So I'll see you guys in the next one.